Is there a royal romance causing a stir? In fact, it's something that's been on everyone's lips lately. But it seems that the press and internet users are gathering their own evidence and conclusions. Since, according to speculations around the families that are members of the most referent monarchies in the world, there could be an unexpected romance between a well-known princess and an important prince for the first time in a long time. There has long been talk of how politically correct royals should be even when they are just starting to speak. And although it may seem rather strict, it is sometimes convenient as young people prepare from an early age to represent their nations. But what if a love story begins? It could be a fairy tale or an illusion. In this case, could it be one of the two? Well, the world has been turned upside down by the possibility of a romance between Princess Lenore of Spain and Prince Moulay Hassan of Morocco. All the evidence seems to be in favor that they have been romantically involved for some time. But this may have a much more solid basis from before, as both have grown up in a similar environment. Felipe VI and Letizia's firstborn, the now Princess Lenore, was born the heir of the crown. All eyes were on her as the future queen, and as such, she is receiving an education that will allow her to one day succeed her father and do so with ease. Since her birth, all her actions have been closely watched, as is now every one of her appearances, while Prince Moulay Hassan is the eldest son of Morocco's King Mohammed VI and his wife, Lala Sama. He is currently the crown prince to the throne of Morocco. He is a slender, introverted young man with a serious rictus, who has always exhibited a very adult attitude for his age, although with certain hobbies. He hates being kissed on the hand, the traditional Moroccan greeting for a member of royalty. But how are these two related? Both are called to be king of their homeland. They are the heirs to the throne of their country and are first in line of succession for being the firstborn of kings. But apart from this, it has begun to compare their behaviors in royal events. The fixation that both have for determinedly respect and followed in the footsteps of their mothers, even in behavior or the access that both have had to develop in common means, surrounded by a circle of people with connections, such as attending expensive and renowned universities. In Lenore's case, she is taking a study program worth more than 76,000 euros at UWC Atlantic College in Wales as a student in the second year of the International Bachelorette Program and will subsequently study the legal system. The Prince, in July 2020, the Ministry of Education announced that he had passed the International Bachelorette in the branch of Economic and Social Sciences with the highest honor. And then he was admitted to the Mohammed VI Polytechnic University of Ben Guir, 250 kilometers south of Rabat, where he studies economic and social sciences. But in spite of being socially and politically prepared, the sentimental sphere goes a little further. It is known the relationship of intimate friendship between Lenore and young Brazilian with whom she was related, a young man one year older than her. However, recently, the princess was seen with a necklace that had the word love written in Arabic. This was during the vacations of the Spanish royal family. Some sources of information suggest that the message could be addressed to Moulay Hassan, heir to the Moroccan throne, a young man who would have given the necklace to the princess. Could this be possible? When the aristocracy take vacations, they are very exclusive and careful with everything they do. Since they even become official appearances, they know that everyone is around them. Even the designer clothes they wear have a message. The summer holidays of the King and Queen of Spain are always accompanied by a multitude of public events, a program that began with the reception by Felipe VI at the Almudania Palace of the authorities of the region. However, among the rumors, there are also expectations. Could this romance be a possibility? Both have busy political and social lives, as well as a responsibility to their respective families and countries. However, this does not take away the possibility that their exclusive lives have led them to a common ground. After all, the problem with marrying into royalty is that in most cases, they can only marry people of their own status, in order to maintain the customs and priorities of those who are qualified to do so. But even in Lenore's case, she can host her own exclusive party, 
For example, Lenore shared with many other friends, all fellow students from the Santa Maria de la Rosales school, with whom she has kept in touch with despite having spent 10 months studying abroad and far away from them. Although it is much more usual for them to meet in the private homes of the other students of the center in Samasagas, Aravaca, or La Finca, where most of them live, on this occasion, they decided to rent a place near Jose Abascal Street, one of the arteries of the capital. Living in palaces, making public appearances, and even wearing a simple necklace means a lot when it comes to the representative of a nation, those little details that only for them could make a difference. And they are not the only ones, because there are also other young people in the same situation. Sometimes it is amazing how such an ostentatious life can be so limited in terms of the most usual experiences. These two young monarchs are not the only ones in this position. There are also other young heirs who have been involved in a dilemma of what it is to be between politics and a real relationship. Compared to the case of Princess Lenore, in these monarchies, everything is quite clear. But these princesses do not cease to be an option of alliance of both sides for Morocco. In the case of Lenore, she would have options as Christian of Denmark, the only male of the teenage generation of new heirs, days weeks older than Princess Lenore. But the rumor has been unleashed. Is this a passionate teenage romance? Since the cultural differences between them make it seem even impossible that they could sustain a relationship, there seems to be a wide gap between what the future means for each of them within their own worlds. If they have an affair, would either of them have to change any habits to fit into the other's life? Like a story out of a fairy tale, a prince and a princess are constrained by the media hurricane from relating to each other. But it doesn't seem to stop them from partying together or even wearing accessories that might signify little statements of what they really think about the whole situation. It's quite an emotional roller coaster, but apparently they seem to care a lot more than that. Even their parents, because all the possibilities in these cases seem to be limitless now. Could this be a political agreement between Spain and Morocco? Mainly, the alliance of nations would end up generating a lot of employment and reducing the problems between Spain and Morocco then focused on uncontrolled immigrations and fishing. The royals have caught up several times between 2021 and 2023, and apart from political talks, it could also mean the union of their own families. The mediation situation between Spain and Morocco has never been very good, but this could have been the perfect solution for the kings. However, it seems that it is a situation properly caused by the two young men who are taking care of these rumors. Although this remains to be seen, it is not only a factor of cultural differences now, but the escapades of teenagers who seem to be carrying on a relationship on the sly, perhaps normal for the royal world, but very media-heavy for the world of the monarchy. Even in the public events where they have coincided, and in the company of their circle of friends, which is quite closed, it seems that they have decided to go ahead with this act that could be love or pure rebellion after all these years preparing to assume the leadership of their nations. Would they have found a solution through the young people of the monarchy? Or do you think that this is really a love story? For the monarchy, there is any possibility. Could they surprise everyone? Leave it in the comments.